Hey everybody, um, this video is a bunch of bottles I bought at a flea market last Saturday. Um, those are county fairgrounds, the annual like flea market garage sale thing they have inside the expo center. So I paid $75, just uh, I'll hurry up and go through them real quick because there's a lot of them. But let me know if you have any comments, just you know leave them um, let me know what you think if I got a good deal or if it was a bust so I'll start I'll try to hold them up here in the light as I get them um, I got oh, that ain't gonna work okay this old mr. Boston it's just a federal bottle whiskey um, got straight-sided flask I couldn't get it very clean on the inside. But lighting ain't very good. I got good light, but I can't get it focused. Um, another straight-sided flask. This one cleaned up almost mint. It's really nice. Uh, this it's probably hard to tell this milk bottle but it has a purple tint to it and it's a pages from Toledo Ohio registered one pint this is the Horlicks malted milk Racine Wisconsin USA kind of dirty I couldn't get that too clean either I have a bunch of these little inkwells this is the only one I have though with the cap it's a waterman's with a neat little twist cap on it um, this is really neat it has the stopper stopper oh that's better over this way stopper in it um, it's a Hoster, Hoster, it says C-O-L, comma, O, I'm thinking that's Columbus, Ohio, but cleaned up really nice, it's got a little chip right there in the base, and another, another one that's really dirty, I can't get that clean at all, but you can't really tell it because it's brown um, but same company Columbus Ohio I believe okay uh, this I'm guessing it was whiskey um, got air bubbles in it so I W Harper cork top it's really Really nice, cleaned up really good. Um, just this slick. A lot of bottles are aqua, but this is actually green. Um, like really, I don't know if you can you know, tell it in the light. That's a uh, green green. But still nice. This one I couldn't get clean. It's uh read it Saginaw Medicine Company Saginaw Michigan and a lot of these I couldn't get clean I try CLR vinegar um, everything I can think of I even have muriatic acid I put in them and let them soak for a couple days and they still don't clean up okay, this is a big um, Wayne bottling works I don't know if you can see the date down there. It's really small under the N. Um, 1926. I'm just going to sign back here. This really beautiful. It's still got some water in it, but Hubner Breweries Company, Toledo, Ohio. 
registered, pure and without drugs or poison. And it's got a 29 on the bottom, but cleaned up really good. Nice air bubbles in it. This one loaded with air bubbles too. Um, I guess this would be sort of a blob top. That's the Hope and Strub B Company, Toledo, Ohio. Huge bottle. Another big bubble right there. Um, this little slick, it says AJ White. Or, not slick, um, curative syrup. I meant to say medicine. It's got a little chip right there. Dr. D. Jane's Expectorant, Philadelphia. It's half size, uh, half dollar. The four on the bottom. The only one that had a cork in it. I did that one. This blob top, hutch. Um, I guess a slug plate. Um, I don't know if slug plate only pertains to milk bottles, I, I don't think, but I guess that's what it would be. It's E. Mueller, Erie, Pennsylvania, registered. That's all it has on it. Another blob top, um, John Deaver, D-E-V-E-R. Well, this says P-H-I-L-A-D-A. Falada. I don't know if that's a town or if that's how they wrote Philadelphia back then. It says a TW on the bottom. Uh, this one's crown top. That's another slug plate. Um, Dykeman Bottling Works, Monroe, Michigan. It's got the green tint to it. Big on the bottom. Another blob top. Uh, Greenberg in Dichter, Dichter, Philadelphia, PA registered. This one's neat. It's got 938 dash. 40 North 13th Street, Philadelphia, PA. Nothing on the bottom. This this one I couldn't clean at all. I tried everything. It's got a CH on the bottom. Um, you can't even hardly read it. It's so worn off. But C Hartman, Cleveland O. I don't know if that was beer, soda, what it would have been. Um, another blob top. Uh, D U H M E Doom and Shut Shoot Lager Beer, New York. And I thought it was really scratched up, but. When I cleaned it, all these, I don't know if you can see them in the light, they're like twist marks. And they continue all the way down and all the way around the bottle. I mean, there's regular scratches on it, but all them twist marks are all over. Okay, this is my first Dr. Pepper I have. Dr. Pepper, good for life, six and a half ounces, ten, two and four. Um, Dr. Pepper Bottling Company, Muskegon, Michigan. Now this isn't embossed, it's debossed. It's like all the lettering is sunk in. I don't know if you can really see it like when I hold it sideways 
Uh, this is my first Dr. Pepper. I wish I could have dug it instead of having to buy it. Uh, my first clear Pat D. July 20th, 1920 Orange Crush bottle. I don't know what that says at the bottom. Um, oh, six fluid ounces. It's got a big piece missing off the base right there, but I won't be able to tell it once it's sitting on the shelf. And I have a brown orange crush bottle. ACL. I don't. Yeah, you can read it. Um, Orange Crush. Something about carbonated water. Something else. Okay, I'm gonna hurry. I got a few more. Um, okay, these I've got all three sizes. It's uh, Chianti, Chianti. Raspolini um, 8126. This is what I'm holding. I've got the small, medium, and large. Um, and this is my first. What I had a label on it. Hires Rook Beer Bottle. Awesome. I love it. Even though it didn't come perfectly clean. My first one. This is an olive green. I don't know if it was bitters. There's no markings or nothing, but it's a three piece mold. Um, I couldn't get it very clean on the inside. Really deep ponto on it. I don't think you can see it that good. But yeah, the ring goes all the way around. Nothing up the sides until you get right here on that side and this gin bottle I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you the color because it's maybe in the sunlight it's, uh, like a olive green um, maybe this way the top is really really Sloppy. You can see how uneven it is as I turn it. Um, really neat though. I love that bottle. And the last one, which I would have paid $50 for this one by itself just because it's from where my ancestors are. It says, um, see that. Each quart is branded. Cantrell and Cochran. Oh, let me get the bottom. It's got air bowls everywhere, all over the bottom, on the side. Um, but Dublin and Belfast. Now my grandfather's mother, my great grandmother, was born and raised in Belfast, and that's where my grandfather was actually born. And then he was come over here on a ship, and that's how my family come to be in Michigan. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about my bottles that I bought. If I paid too much or too less, have a great day. Bye.